prep gods were testing me yesterday. six weeks in to my prep crazy like I honestly cannot believe it's been six weeks what the heck time flies by that's why I'm saying like I want to take in every moment that I can because this prep is gonna go by super quick I only have 11 weeks left things aren't getting too bad my macros haven't dropped too much I'm down to 210 carbs 130 protein and 45 fat so it's about 1700 calories um, I mean of course I'm feeling hungry my metabolism super fast so you know it's it's, it's hard, but um, it's manageable. Um, I usually feel hungry by like my, maybe like an hour or two after my last meal. So I mean by then it's like 9, 30, 10 and that's like my bedtime. So my training is getting very hard. Like my weight training is awesome. I love weight training. It's just I've been in increasing the weight now. So it gets more intense for me because I want to hold on to as much muscle as I can while I'm dropping all this body fat. And then the thing that's killing me is the freaking cardio. Like I'm not even kidding. Before I step on the machine, I'm like, I literally like say to myself, I'm like, I do not want to do this. I do not want to do cardio right now. I don't want to do it. But I still go on there and I still push through it and get it done. And once I get it done, I'm literally like, I'll be like, oh my God, I cannot believe I just did that. Like, that's so awesome. Because I'm telling you, like, I seriously went from doing zero, zero days of cardio to doing four days a week now. So it's crazy. Now for cardio, I do one day of um, steady state, 30 minute steady state cardio, and then three days of 30 minute hit cardio. And it's killer. My coach said she'd rather me train like an athlete and eat like a normal person rather than starve myself and not work out as much. So I'm down with that. I mean, I'm happy with my macros, honestly. Obviously, I'd like it to be higher, but like for being on prep, this is like totally fine. I've been on these macros now for the past about three weeks. So, and my weight has been dropping like super, super quickly. I was at 130 when we started, I believe, and I'm down to 122. So. Yeah, I'm losing fast, so I think she wants to like slow it down a bit, so I think that's why she's been keeping me on the same macros for some time now. The physique is coming in slowly. I see the abs coming in. I see some definition. I'm starting to see some veins when I work arms now, so, you know, it's pretty cool. It's really, really cool to see your body change like that, like, honestly, because you can literally mold your body to look however you want. So, yeah, that's, um, that's the update. So now I'm gonna get to some studying. It's now, it's Saturday, January something. It's Saturday, January, January. Oh my God, what the hell am I talking about? It's Saturday, February 11th right now, and um, I need to get some studying done before I go out tonight. So yeah, I'll have a workout for you guys. So enjoy that. So I'll see you guys in the next clip. What's up? So it is now Sunday, February. I still, I keep wanting to say January. I'm crazy. February 12th, and let me tell you guys. Yesterday I went to a um, family party. It was a family friend's birthday. It was at like eight o'clock at night. So I finished all my meals by then. The prep gods were testing me yesterday. And so we arrived at the party. Of course, you know, Sri Lankan party. There's a bunch of Sri Lankan food, like the best food that I haven't had in so long. And oh, it looked so good. It smelled so amazing. There was dessert, there was ice cream, like, everything so i was just like smelling the food and i was sitting there just drinking my water and chewing gum yeah it was like really really hard i definitely am so proud of myself that i did not eat anything and that i stuck to my macros and i stuck to my plan and i just had my goal in my mind and i was like no i'm not gonna waste my freaking i've been in this for six weeks now i'm not gonna waste it all for one bite that was really difficult like i honestly <laughs> I can't tell you, like, people were next to me, like, right next to me, eating, you know, this food, and it was just, like, the smell was killing me. It smelled so good, but, um, yeah, I stuck to it, though. I just drank my water, and 
I was just like enjoying the company. So I texted my, um, I texted my coach and I was like, girl, I'm feeling so weak right now. Like I'm so hungry. I'm around all this food. Like I cannot do this. And she's like, stay strong. You got this. You have a goal in mind. You know, food is not everything. And she's like, enjoy the company, not the food. And I was like, okay. You know what, you're right. So I enjoyed the company. I had a really good time hanging out with everyone. So that was a good time. But let me tell you, like I honestly feel like that was one of the hardest times of my life. It was so tempting. I was like staring at these samosas like, oh my God, like I could eat you right now, but I didn't. Honestly, that just shows you like you are in control of everything. Your mind is everything. Like if you have a goal in mind, you have to do everything to achieve that and you are the only one to start and stop that. I don't know, last night just like really hit me really good. <laughs> I like wrote in my journal this morning. It just like was so awesome that I actually controlled myself like that. Like it's crazy how like you can look at food that looks so good and you can be like, I can eat you right now. I can stop this whole prep right now and just eat it. I'm making the decision to be in prep. I'm making the decision to not eat all this crazy food. It's crazy how in control that you actually are. So it's all in the head. It's all in the mind. Your mind controls everything in your life. Like all your emotions, all your feelings, your mind controls that. So I just want to share that with you guys. I hope you guys enjoy this workout coming in the next clip.